look, firstly, it was uh, democracy in action, a real campaign, a real fight, no predictable result. And uh, we have quite a record of free and fair elections. Uh, we've proven this record, and it's what is important uh, for me, mm. not just as a foreign minister, but also uh, for, for Ukrainian citizen. But uh, let's see how the result uh, will play out uh, in the runoff. You have a remit, of course. It is foreign affairs. Uh, and we don't have answers from Mr. Zelensky yet on a whole host of issues as well. How concerned are you for the welfare, for the well-being of Ukraine going forward, that we have no ideas really of what the policies of Mr. Zelensky are in terms of foreign affairs, of how he's going to deal with Russia, uh, and how he's going to deal with Western allies as well? Look, I'm pretty sure there would be no U-turn or left turn or right turn uh, on foreign policy. Uh, Ukrainian society simply would not allow anybody to get from the mainstream of uh, Ukrainian foreign policy orientation. And uh, it's about going towards uh, the EU and NATO. So that's a very important point for our viewers here. Regardless of the winner of this election, you think Ukraine has decisively turned its back on close association with Russia, uh, and actually it is a Western future that the country is looking for as well. Because when I was back here in 2014, 2015, people were saying, look, the future of Russia and Ukraine are inextricably linked still, though. No, it's, it's forever. If you talk to the people on the streets, it's forever. It's about our mentality, it's about our history, it's about us Ukrainians. Mm. Ukraine will continue its drive towards uh, the transatlantic community, towards NATO, towards the European Union. There could be some uh, differences in time frames and tactics, but in the sense of strategy, it's decided for 100%. But, but, but is, is it goading Russia? to have Ukraine potentially joining NATO at some stage as well. Because bearing in mind, obviously, um, the whole Euromaidan in 2014, very contentious about where that came from. Was that EU pushing for too much expansion? Was that clumsily done by the West as well? Do you think it's necessary for Ukraine to go forward and actually become a full member of NATO? Look, I'm, uh, I'm not a big fan of any conspiracy theories. Uh, it's about us Ukrainians. Mm. It's about our drive. Mm. It's about uh, the simple point that we deserve to decide our own future. And it was clear decision yeah. uh, right after the Maidan. And uh, actually, these results you see in front of you, it's another proof that Ukraine will go towards Europe. No point about any, anything else. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.